GRP is turning to hydrogen and ammonia. In 2022, it signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Fortescue Future Industries, or FFI, which is part of Fortescue Metals. Its former CEO and current chairman, Australian billionaire Andrew Forrest, has put sustainability at the heart of the group's endeavours. I think FFI is an amazing company. Andrew has really been a true visionary. Um, and we've been fortunate enough to establish this partnership with them because, as you know, they are exploring the production of green hydrogen around the world. Within this current time, we have now have a detailed technical study being conducted by both FFI and GRP team. And they have looked at our steel making processes and they have identified certain key business units that can be converted from natural gas to green hydrogen. Producing green steel doesn't come cheap, however, and the higher price is often passed on to consumers. And that's something that can be problematic. 20, 30 percent more expense. Uh, depending on what technology you are using. In Asia, it's a much more price sensitive market. But if there is a technological change, you can lower the cost of hydrogen, you can lower the cost of fuels, then maybe green steel becomes more competitive versus uh, traditional carbon steel. If you don't mind me saying, you're not the biggest in terms of scale, you're in the top 10. Do you feel that your size has been an advantage in deploying these new technologies, in deploying the green transition, has that made you more flexible and more nimble and put you in an advantage to push more into the green future? Correct. So every time we made an investment, we want to make that smart investment. So rather than going huge capacity, we focus on the higher profitability with the proper market size. So like you said, we are being nimble. Yeah, so we are not disrupted as much to go to the green steel uh, movement. I understand. So, Pakago, if I can bring you in once again, talk to us about the future hydrogen technology opportunities that are out there, because I believe once you have really integrated the green steel component of your five pillars vision, then synergies arising out of hydrogen are another growth area. It's true. The third pillar in our ESG is uh, energy transition and low-cost solutions, which, of course, alternate uh, energy sourcing is one of the key challenges that we are facing. Uh, recently, we just signed an MOU with FFI to go towards the study of utilizing alternative uh, energy, which is green hydrogen and green ammonia and that to be honest it will take some time but we took the steps the necessary steps towards that direction how did that relationship begin with ffi it's take a long journey back and we first one is i can say that we share the same uh, vision ffi is the future of industry whereby they're providing uh, the clients the alternative energy sourcing and then we are going into the sustainability uh, initiatives that one of the initiatives to look at the alternate energy I would say so is a very good collaboration between the two companies. You make a very important commitment towards human capital and talent. What are you doing in terms of uh, your commitment towards uh, upskilling and reskilling your workforce? Talent is very important to us and that is why one of our pillars in our ESG uh, strategy is nurturing talent. That's the fifth uh, pillar. We understand and we acknowledge there are needs on green skills. And consequently, there will be some reskilling and upskilling of our existing workforce. Interestingly, in this kind of transformation, we recruit more people for the digital, for the sustainability people. So we see that it creates more jobs, including the existing employee that still need to be upscaled. Before this uh, sustainability things, no one knows about the low carbon product. No one knows about GHG protocol. But now everyone talks about it. But the issue is the knowledge about this is still very limited. It's yeah. why Pargo said that we can use the networking to learn from the partners. So then we can also uh, 
upscale our team with Tin GRP. Brought to you by Patronus.